Going on to question six straight away. Question six, another problem solving type question. Luckily we've got A, B, C and D. So Amy, Ben, Colleen and Dave. Amy has one sixth, so one sixth for Amy. Ben has one fifth. One fifth for Ben. Colleen and Dave, we don't know. The difference between Amy's share and Ben's share. So let's just stop there. The difference between Amy's share and Ben's share means the difference between these two. So that means we're going to have to find a subtraction for a fifth, take away a sixth. So let's convert them into a common denominator first. And they both go into 5 and 6, both go into 30. A fifth to 30 is 6 times bigger, so 6 times bigger on the top. And 6 to 30 is 5 times bigger, so 5. Now we can find the difference. The difference between B and A is 1 30th. So the difference between those two is 1 30th. So we add that on to Colleen's share. So let's add 1 30th. And the answer is equal to half the money. So Colleen's share makes half the money. Half the money would be 15 thirtieths, so she must have had 14 thirtieths to start. 14 thirtieths, 6 thirtieths, and 5 thirtieths to start. So if you look at 5, 6, and 14, that's what they had to start. That makes 25. 25 thirtieths leaves 5 thirtieths for Dave. 5 thirtieths show that Amy and Dave have each had the same amount of money. 5 thirtieths for Dave. 5 thirtieths for Amy. They both got the same.